Y'all, he mad because I bought something. What are you mad because I bought something the office? Yeah. Oh, or because of the decal thing. The decal thing, the office, the whole nine yards. I need my water. So, hey, y'all. I'm biz at to the his house. So, I went to go run some errands. So, I'm kind of like on over here. So, I went and ran some errands per usual. My errands consisted of more home decor shopping. I'm sure that's hard to like me give y'all home decor hauls, but I'm going to keep doing it until my house is done. I'll get you a daddy over here. <laughs> so, um, anyways, yeah, so I went this home decor shopping, but let me tell y'all real quick. So, me and Dion messed up. Don't name, don't name this video home decor shopping. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure people like, okay, how much more home decor shopping is she gonna do? So, me and Dion messed up. Me and Dion? Do you mean No, you yes, he did. Up? Yes, he did. You messed up. Okay. You always want to blame so, me when you mess up. You messed up on your own. I was just doing what okay. you asked me to do. So, I showed y'all that me and Dion put this decal right here by the front door, right? Dang it. Dramatics. Okay, so I told y'all that we put this decal up over here by the front door. The decal looks nice, but me and Dion, after we put it up, we never loved it, right? No, no. Mm -mm. Don't say that on me. So anyway, so we put it up. So what did I do? But whatever. I looked so we, at it and I said, ooh, I like it. Okay, so you put it up, but we never like fully loved it, right? No, don't try so to So I was at, okay, babe. So today I was in Burlington, and I saw just a smaller square mirror. <laughs> so I had found a smaller square mirror at Burlington, this one here, for 13 bucks. Not bad at all. $13 for a mirror. It has a gold frame. It looks really good. So... I was like, hmm, I think that that will look better in the spot that the decal was in, better than, like, more than the decal, right? Because I was like, oh, I think that the, you know, the mirror will look, the, the mirror would make more sense there than that decal. So, came home, Dion held it up, and we actually both like the mirror there better because it just makes more sense. So, me and Dion basically messed up, and we put this decal over here, and we're not even keeping it up there. We're either gonna take it down, we're gonna cover it up. We don't know which one. I think we should just cover it up because I'm like taking it down. You need to stop lying. What? Dion didn't do anything. I it, did. It's, said. You didn't I said we. No, you didn't make the joke. You agreed. No, I didn't. Agree. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Basically, we messed up. Put the decal right here instead of looking for the mirror first. Found the mirror. We're gonna we're gonna end up putting the mirror where the decal is I ain't that and go get another decal, the same exact decal, and just putting it over there. You need to pay me first for my work. <laughs> Dion said I need to pay him for his time. I'm not playing. That took me 45 minutes. I didn't it, was, your, it was not 45 minutes. It, it you were exaggerating. It was 45 minutes to put that Y'all, it was like 15 minutes. So it stop take playing. It 15 minutes to put that up. Babe, okay. That's not even reasonable. Okay, okay. I need my $10. I'm not playing. I'm not doing nothing else. So I get my $10. <laughs> so anyways, y'all, we're going to put this mirror right there. Probably just cover it up for now. I probably won't peel it off. Or maybe just go ahead and peel it off. I don't know. And then I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow and get the exact same decal and put it over there on this space right here where it should have been originally. Then I think once that's done, we'll be good in here. And then once I do my bar car over there, we'll really be good. Like be done, done. Tolls and trolls. Tolls and trolls. Tolls and strolls. Of home decorating. You live, you learn, make some mistakes, just fix it. So, anyways, that's my spiel for now. But um, yeah, so I ended up going to Burlington, like I said. I got that mirror and a couple other things for the office. And then I went to Ross. Um, so I ended up going to Burlington. I got that mirror and a couple other things. And then I also got some other stuff for the office. Um, so I said I went to Burlington, I went to Ross and Target. And Marshalls, the same source I always go to. So I decided that the color scheme that I want for my office is going to be like white, black, white, gray, and rose gold, right? So first up is this lamp, desk lamp that I got from Hobby Lobby, y'all. When I saw it, I was like, ooh, I have to have it. It is like a marble base, love marble, and then it has the rose gold 
um, stand and of course the light, the lampshade and everything is gold. Then I got this black and white picture here from Burlington. It just says she designed a life she loved. And I really like this because I think I mentioned before that me and Dion like inspirational quotes. Super cute and simple. And so I also got these blush pink curtains from Burlington. Um, but me and Dion don't have curtains. <laughs> Shut up. Me and Dion don't have curtains anymore in the house. But I thought it'd be cute in the office. And then also I feel like it kind of will make that room feel a little more cozy and more warm. I also got this like rose gold, um, this flower pot. Simple, nothing much to it. Also got this like silver greenery thing. Not quite sure where this one go, but I have it just in case. Um, I have this gray basket to go in there because he likes to keep his trash out of the place. So, and like his books and stuff on the desk and stuff. So just that way whenever he's done using his papers and his books and stuff, he can easily just sit all his stuff in here. I bought this basket and I also bought um, this thing from Ross that it's it's called an under uh, a large undershelf basket so basically all you do looks like this okay all you do is you just hook the basket onto the table push it in and that is it so i think that's really cool because again like i said our table is really basic so again with dion's books and papers and stuff you're gonna slide his stuff in there and it's basically good to go also found this cute little notebook it's really simple but it has the colors that i'm going for so of course i have to buy it it's just marble pink and rose gold and i thought this would be really cute just sitting out on the table here the last thing i got was this um a pillow here it's just a simple um blush pink pillow but i bought this to go in the chair that i am it's right that's a, one piece of it <laughs> um the chair that i am going to be building to go to this desk here okay so here's the last thing that i bought it is just a small silver vase just very simple um got this at burlington also and then i just got some black sticks i have no idea what they're called um foliage <laughs> whatever or say foliage, I don't know what it's called, but um, yeah, I just got this silver vase and it's black, these black sticks to probably sit somewhere in the office. Again, more so for just aesthetic and kind of just tying in all of the colors. So yeah, that's about it, you guys. Um, I am about to probably try to put this chair together um, and then try to start organizing, kind of see where I want everything to go. Um, and then probably get it up either tomorrow or Friday or the weekend. I don't know, at some point. Dion cooked. He, baby, what is this? It's just chicken breast and some, uh... I thought this was fish. When I was I thought this was fish. No, that's not fish. Okay, so Dion cooked baked chicken breast, I assume. Baked. Roasted. Roasted chicken breast, sweet potato. Sweet and roasted sweet potatoes. And, <laughs> and he said he had a veggie shake. Yeah, it's in the refrigerator. Ugh. This is what. Ugh. What would you put in there? Just pineapples, uh, peaches, and strawberry. Mm. Yum. And apple. <laughs> so. And, oh, uh, two cups of vegetables. And two cups of veggies. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun, fun. So, anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get started on this stuff and wanna call it a night and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I do I want to show you guys that I finished the chair very simple um, I went ahead and put the silver thing with the black sticks over here and then I, I didn't show you guys that I got this um, like push pin board from Hobby Lobby and this is actually gonna go up here um, I've been wanting to I wanted to find somewhere that I could create a vision board so that will go right here next to my mirror in that picture 
up over there and then it's my simple curtains right there and then it'll be done oh and then Dion wants to put this decal it says um this one was this is one of the ones we got the other day but it says be strong and courageous and this will go he wants to put it up there right above the curtains he says that whenever he walks in the room he wants to be able to see that so this decal will go up there so okay now i'm for real for real i'm gonna be calling it a night it's like 9 yeah 9 20 so i'm probably gonna just chill around here for a little bit um hang out with the baby and I'll talk to you guys in the morning bye job turkeys <laughs> say it again papa bye job turkeys he's so annoying. hey you guys so it is thursday afternoon i believe it's almost four o'clock um so kind of the end of my work day but today i want to go ahead and finish what i started yesterday that i like started putting the stuff together or like i went to put stuff together but then i couldn't because like the order of like basically i couldn't like spray paint and stuff after i assembled it i had to spray paint it first and then assemble it so anyways but i didn't have time to spray paint and stuff yesterday so i'm going to be doing that right now the first step um so i am spray painting of course i want to lay down um i want to lay down stuff on the ground so my spray paint won't be everywhere um i just have these like old uh, plastic bags that me and dion have had so i'm actually gonna end up cutting them up to make them bigger so i can just lay them out on the floor and then once i do that i'm gonna go ahead and start spray painting but first of course is to lay down our foundation all right so i just have them laid on the ground like so very simple and then of course the next step is to go ahead and get our pieces alrighty and then of course the last step for this basic DIY bar cart is the spray paint um, I'm using the same spray paint that Dion used for the sunburst things um, it's the Rust-Oleum the Rust <laughs> metallic brilliant metal finish spray paint So this is the first round of the spray paint. Um, I just did one side, so of course I'm gonna let this dry for um, a few hours and then of course flip it over to the other side once it's completely dry and then spray paint the other side. I definitely underestimated the amount of spray paint that I would need because I just ran out of the first can and with the only can that we have in our first round of spray paint, but it honestly looks really good just I know it's really sunny out here, so it's kind of messing with the lighting. But the spray paint looks so nice. Like, it's definitely a true silver metallic shade. One side done, one more to go. What's up, job turkeys? What's up, sub, sub, sub? Hey, y'all, so just to recap on my little, 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 little day. So, uh, today is Thursday. Time, 6.50, I think, or something like that. Uh, 40. Let's say 6.40, okay. And what did, we, what did I do today? Oh, I went to school, like always. Um, pretty long day. Kind of slacking a little bit because I got an exam tomorrow at 8 a.m. I'm really not prepared. So, you know what today is? An all-nighter. Actually, so we're out and about today. About to go by Barnes and & Nobles and take this little um, pocketbook thing back. It's like a little book that's in your pocket, so you call it a pocketbook. Yeah, go figure, right? Pocketbooks. Take that back and see if I can find some other stuff that's like more like um, something more I can, something more usable, I should say. <sighs> can you see I'm tired out? I'm tired. Hey, y'all, so today was pretty good, though. Today was pretty good, laid back, laughed, had fun. This is literally my life every single day. Despite all the extra I get from Kyra. But that's another story. <sighs> okay, y'all. So I'll hit y'all back in a minute. What's up, Javis? So, y'all, I'm back. Sorry, it's a little dark. But y'all know what I hate about going into stores? Is that where you're looking for something specific, specific, and they don't have what you need. Oh, that irritates me. That straight irritates me. And, like, right now, I went into Barnes & Noble's. Of course, they didn't have the book I needed. So I have to order, which is like three times as much. 
then my wife is probably and Michael still shopping for decorations. I'm just like, Gina, how many decorations do you really need? You know, how much decorations do you really, really need? Like, get your life together. Get your life together. All right, anyways, y'all, so, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm right here in front of Old Navy. I'm actually about to go in here and see what kind of sale they got. See if they got some good stuff for my baby girl. Actually, you know what? I'm about to actually see if they got some good stuff for me. <laughs> she always gets stuff. I want to buy myself some sometime. So, about to go in here and see what's cracking like and knocking like Y'all, man. Dog, that haircut is calling my name. Don't be trying to talk about my hair on the slide, because I know I need to be cut. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Uh, man, is anyone else husband into socks? Like, dog, I love socks. Like, I truly love socks. Like, I have like a billion of them. The thing is that I almost need some to go with almost every fit. That's the only thing. Like, and I'm a, I am a fool for the, uh, the cleanse rack. First place I go, I try to make the best out of it and then I go from there. Y'all, so, why I just go over there and just turn back, right back around? I'm so tired, I don't even feel like looking for nothing. Like, I'm just like, man, let's just go. So I'm literally about to call Carter, see where she is, so we can go. She is still in Barnes and Noble, sitting on the floor. Who does that? I'm trying to be like, hey babe, I know you've been in the house all day, so let's get out the house. But she literally, she needs to get some kind of dang hobby. Cause I can't, brother got stuff to do. She's like, I just wanna get out the house, baby. I'm just like, well get out the house when I'm not here. Like, you don't need me to get out the house with you. But I get it, it's that companionship she wants she just wants to feel like she's not being left out i get it but come on i'm about to wait girl to come out of here <sighs> go get something to eat relax for a little bit what to do y'all <laughs> so after we left the store me and Dion, of course ended up coming to get to eat because we were both hungry but i'm honestly i'm not that hungry because i had a late lunch so why are you eating it's not that, I'm not that hungry, I'm gonna eat. He's so annoying. We ended up at our favorite, or not our favorite, but our go-to place, Fridays. This is where those people supposed to be always come to. When we both hungry, and we don't want Chipotle, I don't want Chipotle, because Dion's first four foot was Chipotle, but I'm so over, like, people. <laughs> Anyways, we picked Fridays, of course. I got my usual. I always get this. My pick three. And Dion got, what'd you get by the chicken and shrimp? Mm -hmm. Chicken and shrimp. Mm -hmm. So anyways, yeah, I'll have to finish eating. And then we'll head back to the house. I wanted to watch my PGIT shows, AKA, I wouldn't want to watch them. Um, yeah, I had to go in order tonight. And now I have to catch up on Grace and Scandal tomorrow. Y'all, I have not been into Scandal. It's been really hard for me to get into it. See, y'all, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm so tired, and Dion jacked me on at 6.30 to go to Barnes Noble. Hey, he didn't get nothing. Would you get to turn something? Yeah, okay. I'm hungry now. I'm about to eat. Bye, y'all. <laughs> what's up, y'all? All right, what's up, John Turkins? What's up, what's up? Hey, y'all, so it is Saturday, approximately around 1.20. And Kyra is out here on the balcony, sending her D. What is it? DIY. Do I'm it yourself. Hard. Do yes. it yourself. DIY. Do, do it yourself failure. Uh, well, yeah. Do it yourself project, which we already know when you're doing some yourself. If you really don't know what you're doing and you think you know what you're doing, <laughs> you make some mistakes along the way. So she uh, made some mistakes, and let's just let me just show y'all, and I just uh, walk y'all okay, no, through yeah. what she did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So look. So. No, what she's at her doing now, she is sandpapering the, um, let's say the splotched paint uh, because she sprayed it lying down and it like uh, gathered together, like the paint came together 
and like splotched all over it. Whenever you spray it laying down, the part that's on the top isn't is okay. That part is fine. But what happens is is the paint seeps down to the bottom, and in the bottom layer that's like on the that was like on the on the uh, plastic bags, that part like clumped together on the back of the part that was spraying. So when you lift it up, you got like little nasty splotches and stuff like this. Yeah. I don't know see. Uh, you see that? It, like clumped up. Like or like gapped. So this right here is the back because this is the side uh, that didn't get pumped up. Mm -hmm. So like on this one. But basically make a long story short, both of them is messed up messed on up. one side. And then let's just say she used a can and a half of paint and they still they turn it right. We ain't excited about that. But she went she went back to Home Depot, got some more paint. Now she's got her sanding. 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 Yeah, so basically I got a sandpaper block. She's sanding. And I'm sanding. 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 Yeah, anyways, yeah, she's sending this little DIY card, bar card. You see, y'all notice I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm just going with the flow. Well, I'm sanding it to smooth it down so that way whenever you go back over and spray paint it, because you don't have to spray paint it again, of course. Whenever we go over and spray paint it, it'll be smooth. So we won't have these little nasty splotches anymore. Bam, bye, deuces. See y'all in a bit. Gotta go. Hey y'all, so this is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> I'm hot, I'm tired, and I'm over it. But I didn't get a chance to record um, or film because um, I didn't have space to put the tripod up and stuff. But so I went ahead and spray painted the bar cards. It looks a lot better now. It's definitely not a good paint job by any means. Like. You can still see some of like the little splotchy areas and like from far away you can tell that the paint I don't know I'm not good at like getting like an even coat of spray paint but I think I just I, it's decent enough to put up in the, in the house so basically this is what it looks like I just have it leaning against the doorknob right now but it's basically dry right now so I was able to spray paint both sides um, what I did is I just held okay so I was spray painting with one hand and in the other hand I was holding it right here with one finger so what I did is like I had to spray the spray paint in um, like my right hand and then in my left hand I was holding it just like this literally only one finger and right at the bottom so that way the spot that I'm holding it at because I won't be able to get spray paint like I can't get spray paint where the where the finger is um, but I made sure to put it at the bottom so that way like that part won't be seen um, but I held it like this and then just spray painted it with my right hand and I did both sides I want to give it like another like 30 minutes probably probably even long probably another like yeah probably like another 20 minutes just to sit here and make sure it's completely dry and then we're gonna have to start assembling it because I want to get this stuff up so hey you guys so it is Saturday afternoon it is a little bit past five o'clock um, and I'm just here at the house. Dion went to return his massage table that he was practicing on and then went to the gym. So I'm just here solo. Um, but I did just finish putting together. I did just finish putting together the bar cart. Let me put the side on. Yeah, so I just finished putting it together and I'm not gonna lie you guys, I honestly gave up. <laughs> I was so over it. So I ended up removing the content paper that I put on there yesterday because it just wasn't looking the way I wanted it to. And it's left the shelves white because like I said, it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to, which I feel like should be okay because um, we'll have like stuff on the trays and so that'll cover it up. But um, yeah, I just keep, I'm just keeping it real, real simple y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the stuff that I bought just to kind of see like how I want to set it up. So here is the final product and I just could not be more pleased. Babe, how does it look? Yeah, even Dion thinks it looks good. So um, I added the marquee napkins. I bought some 7-Up. Can't seven up because those are like necessities, you know. If you need like a little easy mixer, some straws back there, 
and then uh, my glasses that I, I saw I put on there earlier. And then um, down here, I just went ahead and got a nice little variety of things. Well, not really a whole variety. Um, just I got four different drinks and then just mixers. So I got some cupcake Moscato. You can never, I love, love, love white wine and Moscato wine. So I went ahead and got that. Um, back here, we have some barefoot. Ooh, Lord. I have some barefoot pink Moscato champagne. This is mainly for like mimosas. I got this absolute berry acai vodka. I don't know. The girl in the liquor store recommended it. Um, and I personally like uh, flavored drinks, like whatever it is, like flavored. So I want to try this berry acai. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's blueberry and pomegranate. She said it's actually really, really good. Um, she said that it's 100% agave. Not quite sure what that means, but she basically said that it's better than. Patron, I think she said that in her opinion, and a lot of people have told her that it's better than Patron. A lot of people just don't know about it, but she said it's really good. So I went ahead and got this. It's Blanco, or wait, Tequila Ex Exotico? I don't know. So I got that, of course, for margaritas, and then the vodka for like mixed drinks. And then um, for mixers, I got the. Let's say it says roses, cocktail infusions. I don't know, I just saw these things, so I picked them up in the bottles. It's cute. So, um, so this is a cosmopolitan mix, and then back there, I got a blue raspberry mix. Um, which again, this is just uh, you just add this in the vodka, and then you're good to go. That's super easy. And then, of course, back there, I have my handy dandy margarita mix. Oh, I didn't show you guys this earlier, but I purchased this little um, car or not cardboard, like this little mini chalkboard down here. Um, just kind of sit there for decor because I thought it was cute and I added the quote uh, drink up um, Yeah, I thought this was a really cute touch to add down there So here is the final view of the cart. So now y'all it's about 930 and um, Me and Dion are ooh, it's almost 10 o'clock. So me and Dion are in for the night I'm honestly probably supposed to sit on the couch watching TV and fall asleep and church doesn't start till 11 So it's probably around like what 11 to I mean 10 30 10 40 10 30. 10 30. Probably won't be leaving right 10 30. You're gonna be on time. You're gonna be on time. You, you make us late. You make us late sometimes. Don't y'all play? Sometimes or one he time. He does. Sometimes or one Babe. time. Babe. Sometimes or one time. Sometimes. You do make us late sometimes. Y'all, one time you make us late because you wanna change this outfit a couple times. He does. But tomorrow we'll leave for real at 10 30. So you're gonna be on time for church. But we were gonna call it a night and talk to you guys in the morning. You wanna say Papa? Man, yeah, have a good night, dog. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh, and for people that had commented, whatever I said that I was craving seafood and commented thinking that I was pregnant, stop. And <laughs> <laughs> there's no babies over here, okay? <laughs> but alright, y'all, have a good night. <laughs>